Hey guys, I wish you all a happy new year for 2021. I know some of you guys in um, Europe and Asia and part and most of Africa already have um New Year's. I think in the UK it's New Year's right now too. So Happy New Year's still not um New Year's in the West though. The Western Hemisphere anyway. Um let's not do this. Go free play. And um let's go this so I wish you guys a happy new year that you guys are all be safe don't die from COVID as we all know that that's a bad disease we all know the pain and struggle not everyone has has the pain and struggle of dealing with it but just try to live man I'm lucky I made it to um, 2021 so far definitely made it through 2020 2020 for me has not really been a rough year, but I know for a lot of other people in the world it has been. People have lost family, people have lost their homes, people have lost jobs. Some people have been arrested, some of them are in jail. Some are political prisoners, etc. I know everyone has a hard time. We all had a some people had a hard year. I didn't really have a hard one. I just stayed home most for most of it. So I really can't say anything. So I just feel it's just appropriate to just talk to the people who, you know, to just let you guys know that, that you guys can... That you guys can do pretty much what you want to do. Yeah, I know it's been a tough year. And 2021 will be a better year. It may be worse. But it will definitely not be. It will definitely be a step forward for humanity. At least we know that. It's part of history. It's going to go down into the history books for a while. A lot of people are going to study it in the future. When we have kids we can explain it to them so yeah lost a lot of people this year whether it be from COVID-19 or coronavirus however you want to call it um from from natural disasters like the fires in Australia the um floods in China, the hurricane the hurricane season in um the US and the typhoon said in the Philippines and Vietnam and um South Korea. We'd also be happy for the people who stand up for justice sometimes in the world. The people in um places like um Hong Kong who who keep fighting for their freedoms to this very day. The people in the U.S. who fight for justice, whether whether people like it or not, the for those people who try to change the system in their own countries to try and make it better for everyone, not just themselves. For those trying to make the world a better place, trying to make it better for for future generations and our children, for them. If we choose to have them, also that we got that we that we're able to stick together and talk for another and get ideas across to help us get through tough times, things like that are good. So at least twenty twenty, even though it's been a rough year from a an event standpoint, which we all know this, at least it brought us together humanely. Which is a very good thing. For me, school and for me, school shut down on um, March thirteenth, which is Friday the thirteenth, as I remember it. I was still in eighth grade. Now I'm in ninth. So yeah, it's been rough. In the U.S., I've seen the um, COVID and stuff. For me, April was okay because I did stream a lot for you guys. I can't really stream as much anymore because, you know, 
school is a thing. My device is not my device is not as good as it was. And I'm just purely lazy and I don't want to do anything. And May was also good. But after May we had a downfall for June. Then we came back a little bit in July, I think. In September, I think we had a surge, but now we're basically down in a recession again. I wanna think um be happy for people like um I'm gonna say their channel, not their real names, because saying their real names doesn't make any sense for um safety concerns. Um Yeah. So I like to think Gamerify Inca. Inca's been doing good, I guess. He doesn't really do Pixelgun videos anymore, but hopefully he can change his channel for the better. It really just depends on what path he wants to take. Um, people like Alley Cat and um, the Ekadaz are good people. In um, Pixel Gun, people like. Um, I have I met a lot of people different a lot of people in on Pixel Gun like um at least recently I met people like um I don't know their real names but I would say people like Clo um Nico who's going through hard times right now and I wish him the best because he's trying to do something about himself well not really about himself but with his friend to help her. I like to think, um, I like to be happy for Emma, who, or originally Katara, who I helped get from level 39. I think it's in the level 30s when I met her in duels and got her up to almost level 65. She's inactive now, which is okay. I also like, want to, also want to thank those people who sub, who subscribe to the channel. And for those who I've helped with games like Hurricane Outbreak, which is hard for some people to understand. It's one of the main reasons I've even succeeded this um this year. And I also want to be happy for my um my grandparents. Um my mom as well. For keeping me safe this year. Happy I've I made I'm making it to twenty twenty one. 2020 has been hard with the um, the virus, the protests, um, civil unrest, um, disasters, stuff like that. I could possibly, at least for next year, at least for this year, which the next year, which is coming up, up in five hours for me, even though it really doesn't matter because it's 2021 20 somewhere in the world. At least I can be a good person and so I have to do better things next year. It's probably going to be harder for me next year, next year than for me this year. As this year, I was at least happy that I got to stay home. I didn't really feel depressed like other people who um like other people who were who were depressed. Some of the introverts were not um didn't really thought it was the best time for them, but. Over, after a little while, it starts to get boring when you're introverting and no one's there. It starts to get annoying because it's not natural. Because basically everyone's online being depressed. Which in times like these it is. At least we have a vaccine now so people can get immunized. We have, you know, we had games like Animal Crossing in the beginning of the year. We had, um, um, what else? We had a Minecraft update. We had a Super Mario Maker 2 update. We had, uh, Cyberpunk, which people don't really like. We had, uh, um, Call of Duty Cold War. We have plenty of other games, too. So, in terms of the internet and gaming, it's not really... In terms of internet and gaming... It's not always a bad thing on the internet. A lot of people spent more time on the internet this um, year because of obvious reasons. But hopefully, we can at least get somewhere. Because, you know, 
people work hard to get to get stuff that they want. Not everyone, of course, because some people could easily just sit back and do absolutely nothing. So someone who is so basically someone who's rich and owns a lot of money doesn't really have to do anything except manage people. Which is okay. People have lives to get to. I've talked to a lot more people. I'm able to, um, at least compared to, um, last year, I can at least talk to people now and get to know people better. I feel as if I can at least help some people with their problems. Can't really help everyone, unfortunately. But. I, I try to. It just feels bad. I just kind of feel bad for some mistakes I may have made. For for since now, since now I do talk to a lot of um teenagers who are around my age. Not really, yeah, around my age, but a little bit younger. I don't really talk to um. 15, 16, 17, 18 year olds. I do talk to some adults, but most of the time when I'm playing games, I'm really just talking to either kids or I'm talking to teenagers. That's about it. Boys and girls. It's more girls, but it's more boys. It's more girls, but it's still boys that I talk to. They're cool. Play a lot of pixel gun. I had I invaded a clan in the summer. I originally called it Storm something, trying to make it North America. A friend, well, a friend that I met online. I think, yeah, it was a person who who found my channel. Then I became friend friends, and then we talked about something, and we talked about things. We still talk, not as often, but we still talk. He gave me the idea for the idea and um and f he gave me the idea for um a name for my clan. Right now he the original one he gave me was Final Crusaders. Now I've changed it for myself to I've changed it to Rainbow World and now have changed the um the logo. It's been through tough times. We've won wars. We've failed wars. People have defected to other clans, but the same people are still there. We have Deadshot back. I'm still waiting for Sir Moon to come back. So overall, it's been a decent year for me, at least. It's not been a decent for everyone. Some people are still depressed. Some people are still not happy. Just how it is. All right, guys. I'll see you guys later. And I hope you guys enjoy your 2021 or... If you're still in the Western Hemisphere, enjoy your 2020 as it keep, continues to go on. Alright guys, I'll see you guys tomorrow maybe for a stream. Bye!